Hey everyone, Fuseman coming at ya. And today, super excited to be exploring this really cool concept from a plugin that my friends at HTC made. And this is basically a way to do portals within VR. So let me go ahead and just quickly jump into this. So we'll look around. I basically already set up two portals, which is what you're seeing in the scene view. And now if I walk in here, I am instantly tra teleported here, and it's a pretty seamless transition. And I actually accidentally already teleported back, but I can go go in here. I have a portal set up behind me. So if I look around, there there's the other portal. So now I can walk through this, and boom, I'm back to the other side. And it's a really seamless transition. There's like a one tiny little bug, but other than that, like it works really, really well. So I am excited to see how this gets used in VR. And the other thing I'm super excited to announce is that we've officially launched our Udacity VR Nano degree. And we've been working on that for a few months. So really excited for that to get out into the ecosystem and create a lot more VR devs. But other than that, let's just kind of hop into how we can build something really cool like this. All right, so starting off here, I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new Unity project. So I'll just go ahead and hit new and then call to, let's just call it portals and then save it to the desktop. And basically in this video, we're going to be using two plugins. One is SteamVR and the other one is Vibe Stereo Rendering. And this is an asset built by HTC. So they've been actually putting out quite a few cool assets for free, basically for any Vibe user really. But I think a lot of the code that they've written also extends to other other applications like Oculus or Daydream or really whatever. But they've obviously they have a vested interest in using it for for the vibe. So go ahead, get Steam VR, accept all of the parameters, and once that gets accepted, the other thing I'm just going to look for is called Vibe Stereo. And yep, yeah, so they're on under the name of Vive Software. And so they have three really cool plugins that you can get off of the asset store. So that's really cool. So go ahead and import this guy in. And go ahead and import. And as part of this, they have like five different example scenes, which I'm just gonna show the portals one, but there are other ways to use this, which I think is the really cool part about it. So let's just hop into the stereo renderer and while we're here, might as well just go ahead and show the developer guide. So my friend who works at HTC, his name is Dario, he's basically, he makes sure that this thing is really well documented on like Steam VR. So you can, you can understand all of the terminology that they use as far as the SDK, like they have added example pictures in here. They've added in like all of this documentation. So really nicely done as far as that's concerned. And really easy to use once you once you actually read through it so we're just going to go ahead and jump straight into examples we're going to jump to the third folder and that one is the portal example so this is basically what we saw at the beginning of the video and so we have right here just the portal and we have the camera rig already set up and that's right near the portal so that we can just walk straight through it and you'll see a camera here which is going to be basically what we do for the stereo rendering and this is all explained in the documentation but just to summarize it really quickly here basically the way this works is you have your portal screen which is if, if you see here in the inspector it's just a unity quad and then we have these two cubes here and this cube basically represents the canvas which is our quad and this other cube basically represents the portal location and like where we want to teleport when we basically walk through that portal. So this one is probably the more important one and the purple one or I guess pink one right here is basically used to align where your canvas is with the with the purple with that purple point. And this is used purely for rendering and make, making sure it's aligned to the floor. That that's what it's being used for there. So specifically, if we wanted to actually just test this out right now, all we have to do is just hit play. And assuming that you have room setup done correctly, we can literally just go here. And if I walk straight through, then boom, I'm here on the other side and completely seamless transition right there. 
now on the other hand now what we what i did at the beginning was basically we were able to do a portal and then have another portal right next to us basically coming out of that and again that's also super simple to do so all i'm going to have to do actually is one i'm going to move the frame to the, um, underneath the portal just so that those move together the next thing i'm going to do is just go ahead and do control d to duplicate the the portal and then just simply go ahead move that to about where that teleportation spot is it doesn't have to be perfect and again you can play around with all of this stuff and especially if you have a gigantic level this is great and once we have that we simply just need to move our anchor point for our second portal back towards where the first portal is and then move this purple pink thing let's call it magenta <laughs> let's call it the magenta thing and let's align that basically to exactly the coordinates of our transform right here and what we can actually do that really easily in the stereo render script all we just have to do here since we just moved it in the z-axis is just go to negative 0.86 and so that as you can see automatically updates and really intuitive and simple and easy to use so with that we've pretty much just set that up and let's just double check the other portal so yeah so that portal we jump here and then with this other portal we jump back so that's all really all we need to do and at that point just hit play and just go ahead and put the vibe in and now if I walk towards this portal lean in and now I'm over there and we've got the portal right behind me so if I had enough space I could probably just like lean in there we go and I'm back here so really really simple and easy to use and that's what I really love about this plugin now I will say there's one little bug and I think there might be a fix for this um, but if you actually look really closely at the portal in the editor view, or sorry, in the scene view, and you just kind of zoom into that, you'll see what's actually being rendered is what the Vive sees, which is the left eye. And it's the same deal for the right eye. And these are uh, going through render textures, which I've kind of described in other videos. But basically all it is is it's taking a camera and then rendering it for the left and right eye. But the rendering gets distorted. And you actually, for these portals, you actually don't really want these images to be distorted because it ultimately leaves a lot of black space here. So like when you get really close to the actual portal, what will end up happening is you'll see some slight black points on the sides of it, which doesn't make it a perfect transition. You can get around that by basically making sure there's enough buffer so that you don't ever see these black parts. But in cases where you really want them to like lean through, like that could cause an issue. But I think there's a way to around it if you don't if you look and dive into the scripts. And I might go into that in another video, but let me know. But I overall, even even with without noticing that, it's a, still a really, really strong transition. And this is all free and awesome to use. So I enjoy it and I hope a lot of people start using this because I think it makes from some really cool uh, non-Euclidean movements that you can just kind of lean in and then all of a sudden you're on the other side same deal going back back and forth like it really efficiently uses your small room skill space so excited to see what comes out of this and I hope you guys are too but that'll pretty much do it for this video I know it's kind of short but I just kind of wanted to show this out there because a lot of the code has already been built for us but uh, yeah let me know if you liked it and Hope you guys enjoyed. You can also follow us on social media and on uh, subscribe to the, our YouTube channel to basically find out a lot more about this stuff. I, I know this was kind of posted, kind of hidden on Twitter. So if you want all of the latest news on as far as like plugins are concerned for that, make sure to for sure follow us on social media. But that'll do it for this video. And uh, this has been Fuseman, and I'm signing out.